Hey guys, Ars Chaos Master Brian here. How's it going? This will be a real quick unboxing and then a brief discussion afterwards. So, um, this is Dragon Ball Super Part 7. Uh, it covers episodes 79 to 91. Um, if I flip it over to the back, here's the back of it. It's got a Dragon Ball Super Extra. So, yeah. Uh, this is the first Dragon Ball home media release to feature Mystic Gohan. Yes, that is correct. This is the first Dragon Ball home media release to feature Mystic Gohan on the cover. Uh, just to give you guys an idea. This one, Dragon Ball Z Kai, Part 3, didn't. He was featured on the back of the cover, but not on the front. Dragon Ball Z, Season... Let me make sure. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z Season 9 did not have him featured. And then Dragon Box had Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So yeah, he has not been on a home media release. I don't even think he was on... Yeah, he was not on the Orange Bricks either. So, interesting bit of history for you guys. Now, let's get this unboxed. So it's a lenticular cover again. It looks really nice. I gotta say they do they're doing a really good job with these. I'm looking forward to a part that has well, spoilers, Ultra Instinct Goku, because hopefully he'll be on either the final part or the or part nine probably. Yeah, he'd have to be on part nine or the final part. So taking this plastic off. You guys can see. Let's open this up. Okay. Oh, okay. So Android 17 is featured on disc one. And Tian is featured on disc two. If I take this out, it is again Sun Gohan. And on the other side is the episode list. Let's see if I can get you a little bit better. Yeah. There's the episode list. Uh, okay, I was going to say. So that's Dragon Ball Super Part 7. Real fast, let's grab the rest of them right here and we'll lay them all out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There they all are, as if right now. Um, really wish they would have gone with Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black for one of these, because I think that was a missed opportunity, but you know. What are you going to do? I think he would have had to have been on. Yeah, he would have had to have been on this one. And he should have been. He should have been on that one as opposed to regular Goku Black. But he's not, so. Okay, now to talk about what I want to talk about real briefly. Dragon Ball Z is going to have a 30th anniversary release. Rumor is, and keep in mind this is all just rumor, that it is going to be the same... Masters is the Dragon Ball Z level sets. Supposedly, it's going to be that process completely done. Uh, so, the Blu-rays will be in 4x3. And I, for one, am excited for the most part. Um, there's no doubt about it. The level sets definitely have more accurate color than the Dragon Boxes. Because the Dragon Boxes had uh, degradation of the film over the years uh, from when it was placed in their vault to when they actually decide to 
remaster it. Unfortunately, Toei Animation did not color adjust the um, film footage, which, because of the, the, the degradation of the film over the years, the colors changed on some of the blues. The blues turned green. The oranges turned reddish. Um, you guys can just look at the dragon boxes, and if you compare them to what the actual color should have been, it's different. Now... I will be one to say that even the level sets are not correct on their colors. They're more accurate than the Dragon Boxes, but they have um, what is known as crushed blacks. So uh, some of the colors are darker than they should be. So I, for one, am kind of hoping that it's not the level sets. I want the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I'd much rather it be... Toei Animation's, you know, um, original master instead of a third generation film, you know, like uh, Funimation will use if if they're doing the process. What would be best is if it's Toei Animation's original film, and then they give it to the the people that did Funimation's. Um, level sets for the remaster because the colors the people that did that they took their time they they did a great job on that now they couldn't do anything about the crushed blacks as well as the grain because of the um film that they had to use which was the third generation master now a lot of you are probably saying well why didn't they just use the dragon boxes um they couldn't use the Dragon Box film because that was a, like, they rented that. They licensed it. They didn't buy it. So they could only license it for production and to be released in the way that it was. So, but yeah, that's a lot of information. But if you guys are interested in any more information, you can comment below. And I'll get you links, whatever kind of links you want. Uh, if you guys want links to the Dragon Ball Z 30th anniversary um, the website, I can get you that too. But other than that, thumbs up if you liked the video. Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z for the win. And I'll say to you guys early, happy 30th anniversary for Dragon Ball Z because it is this month. So... We'll talk to you later, YouTube. Thanks. Bye.